This is the matter of People v. Marsha Proctor. The file number is 23809ST. Are you Marsha Proctor? Yes, sir. Uh, this matter was set for 1030. I adjourned it to A, get victim input, and B, uh, get the police report. Um, and the prosecutor is not present. It's 1041. I haven't received any victim input. I looked at the file Friday and again this morning to see if there was anything in here. Let me look once again. I don't see anything from the prosecutor or the victim. Well, that was weird. I lost the picture, but it's back. Um, all right. Let me get back into the on-base file. Miss Proctor was charged under a complaint alleging reckless driving, assault and battery, alleged to have occurred way last February 27th of 23. It's alleged that she assaulted someone named Jade Klingler on Big Hill Road in February. Uh, the defendant pled not guilty to that. Ms. Hines was appointed as counsel. Uh, we went through some pretrials, final pretrials, and the defendant entered a plea to assault and battery. And the matter was set for sentencing this morning. Um, I'm disappointed that uh, we haven't got a prosecutor here, but uh, sometimes they don't have enough people to go around. Um, good morning, Ms. Hines. What's your position here? Your Honor, this was a, a road rage case. I think both parties are a little bit guilty here. Um, actually, the complaining witness actually approached my client um, who did not get out of the car and then got out of the car. My client also called the police first to inform them as to what was going on. So, um, but she was honest with the officer. Um, she did admit that she had smacked um, Jay Klingler. So um, she accepted responsibility at the court. Remember, she gave a very good factual basis. So um, she's um, living in Sturgis right now. Um, and uh, she uh, has paid a $500 cash bond, which she has a receipt for. She said she didn't have the last time, but she has it today. So we are just asking for fines and costs, Your Honor. Ms. Proctor, is anything you'd like to tell me? Um, no. Basically, it was just so... Um, one of those days where two people probably shouldn't have made contact. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it was just a bad day for. Well, there was parties, a driving component of this. You. I was turning on to Big Hill Road. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yes. Area. We have a lot of things there that seem a, to happen on Big Hill Road. There is a stretch where you can, is a passing zone right when you turn onto that road. So I went to pass her. And what was your she. Hurry? Uh, excuse me. What was your hurry? I don't know. She, they had just turned onto the road, and I was already cruising along. I guess. So they pulled out. So I you. went to. Well, no, I had turned onto the same road as okay. she did, but apparently she wasn't moving fast enough. I don't know. But I went to pass her, and she increased her speed to prevent me from getting over into the other lane. And so I increased my speed to try to get around. And then I had looked in my mirror, seen a clear spot, which was obviously my blind spot because when I got over, she hit the tail end of the vehicle. And then she had hit it five more times to the stop sign. Now, again- On, my ta on the tail of my vehicle. I'm not- the police report sort of synthesizes your side and her side. There isn't anybody here to present her side. I don't know this lady. I know of her. I think she works at Revolution Health. I think she's a nurse. Uh, but I don't know that I've ever met her. Um, and 
her version is that you passed in a no passing zone, flipped each other off. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, all right. Let's uh, maybe she says she flipped you off. I don't know, but at any rate, when you pull back in, you hit her car. Right, and because I had looked. And my, I looked in my mirror. People get dead people doing that, that sort of thing. Uh, and yeah, then people she get dead trying to prevent somebody from getting into the other lane as well. Yes. I am 100% in agreement to that was her fault. Well, then she, I mean, and again, she there's your preventing. version and her version, and I'm going to put on my tombstone, the truth is somewhere in the middle. Um, she says that you then slammed on your brakes and she ran into the back end of your car. You say she was ass ending your car, but then you both got out of the car and you smacked her upside the head. I smacked her across her face. Well, she had a bloody ear. Um, so how is that a good solution to this? Go ahead. I don't know where I made contact. I just know that I smacked her in the face. I don't believe that I hit her in the ear, but it's possible. Again, she was interfering with my driving and putting my life at, not only my life, but her life in, in jeopardy of, you know, a very bad accident. Because I, for a minute, thought that the vehicle I was driving was going to roll. And it scared the bejesus out of me. It really did, like... I thought I was going over at one point, but thankfully I didn't. <laughs> there have been several really bad accidents uh, at this up and down this stretch between there and Lafayette. Yeah, and then you guys are cussing at each other and she says I'll call the cops and you said I'll call the cops for you. She had got out of, I had pulled along the side of the road and she like tried to block my vehicle in at a diagonal form and she got out of her vehicle saying you dumb bitch blah 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 and I just smacked her. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I don't know who was right or wrong or who were both wrong, uh, but that wasn't the answer to the question. I mean, I'm willing to take half of the fault for it because, you know, I was involved, but she shouldn't have done what she did, trying to speed up and preventing me from getting over to the other lane. She was tampering with my driving. Yeah, all right. Um, so when someone does that, you get to slap in the face? Well, no, that's not necessarily true. But when it's their fault and they get out cursing at you and calling you names, um, yeah, I have to say, sorry, but I don't feel bad for smacking her. Well, and there weren't any witnesses to this. It was just you and her. Um, and she's not here, and I don't have any prosecutor input. Um, there was another vehicle, but I don't think that they really... I, they were in front of me, so I don't think they were looking in their rear view mirror to you know, watch behind them at that point. And I haven't been out there to look and see whether it was a no passing zone or not. Um, where were you going? Uh, I was headed into town. Well, you were headed northbound on Big Hill? I was coming from Indiana. To Sturgis. And then what were we going to do? The back way around into town, to that side of town. Well, then you left before the cops got there. Did you call the cops? Yes, sir. But then you left before they got I there. I was already on the phone with dispatch when I was driving away from the scene, yes. Because then they had a hard time figuring out, why did you leave? Because honestly, I didn't want to have to smack her again. <laughs> I felt that if I had, if I was that enraged and I smacked her, it was best I leave the situation. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. They had a hard time figuring out who you were because this car isn't registered to you and they did finally figure it out. 
there were some photos of the vehicle, which I didn't get. Um, now, you got a temper. You've been charged three times with resisting obstructing police officers. Yes, sir. Um, and your temper came out here. Um, <clears throat> and as she indicates, I do have $500 of bond. We don't need road rage people smacking each other on the side of the street. Unfortunately, some of these have turned into guns. Yeah, I'm not allowed to carry one of those, so <laughs> we won't be having none of that. Are you employed somewhere right now? No. Um, Just the streets. Where did you last work? <clears throat> um, I haven't worked for several years. And you live in a Grange? No. They just sort of said you're... It was a temporary. I was helping somebody out. So you're just kind of in between In here. between Limbo, yeah. Yeah, you got a valid <laughs> license. Now, so are you living in Michigan now? Oh, yeah, I'm back in Michigan. Well, keep a, you have a Michigan license. If you moved to Indiana, you got to get an Indiana license. So keep your residence in Michigan. Right. And they dismissed the reckless charge. So this won't affect your driving record at all. Um, are you on probation or parole anywhere? No, sir. How long were you in jail before you bonded out? Um, I wasn't in jail. I actually was going to pick up my son that day and was backing out of a driveway and another lady was backing out of the driveway across from me that I was completely unaware of. Um, I had went to turn around in a hurry, got into a fender bender there and then the cop was like, oh, well, you have a warrant for your arrest. So it's either $500 now or I take you to jail. So thankfully, I had someone with me who said, well, here, here's, you know, and they, she happened to have money on her that day. Said, here, here's this. We're going back to the house. So do I have to give that money back to someone else? Um, that I don't know. I haven't really discussed it with her. Well, I'm assuming she wants her. Let's see whose name the bond receipt is in. The bond receipt's in my name. All right. Then that's between you and her. Basically, I just need to know how much the fines and costs are and if there will be a remainder of this or if it will be. Yeah. Your, where does your son go to school? Um, in Sturgis. But he doesn't live with you? No. Okay. I'm a little confused, but I'll just, I don't need to go down there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's been a few years with that, so. I had um, some girls in Sturgis, nice young girl named Alexa, and Alexandra. She, some girls said some stuff about her. So she went up to her in the Walmart parking lot and smacked her in the face. Uh, this is sort of akin to that, but she didn't have three prior R&O charges like you do. You got anger issues, to be sure, but I don't really want to put you on probation. Might I say I was sober that time and all them other times I was under the influence of alcohol? Well, there's no indication here. Of course, you left the scene, so they didn't catch up with you till later. I don't know whether you're sober or not. I, I got pulled over in Sturgis, Michigan, or in Sturgis by two police, or two Sturgis cops. That same exact, I was on the phone with dispatch so, and got pulled over by two Sturgis cops. For what? Uh, they said I was, I was speeding. That doesn't even show up anywhere. So well, I'll assume that you weren't, but all right. Because uh, they then the, this deputy goes on for three days to try to figure out who you are. Call the Grange County Sheriff. They try to track this car down. Uh, so uh, you get to 
pay a hundred dollar, I mean, seventy five dollar fine, seventy five dollar crime victims' rights fee, and a fifty dollar state minimum, and a one hundred and fifty dollar attorney fee. That's three hundred and fifty dollars. I got five hundred dollars of bond that is in your name. You're also going to do two days in jail, credit zero, leaving two days to serve. Do you want to do it now or you want to do it this weekend? Um, hmm. I don't know because I had it right here today, so I'd have to let them know. All right, we'll, um, we'll let them know. You'll be out by Thanksgiving if you do it this way. Well, it would be the day after Thanksgiving if I did it on the weekend, correct? Well, you could do it Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday. Let's go with Saturday and Sunday. Well, if you go in Saturday night, you get out Sunday night. Um, excuse me, Monday night. So we'll go Friday. Friday, November 24th, 7 p.m., Report to jail. Seven p.m. Friday. What time will she get on a Sunday? Seven p.m. Yes. Eleven twenty-four. Well, let me give you this. You can stop out at the counter, and they'll give you the balance of that bond money back. Okay. Stuff. All right, you're good to go. Thank you, Lori. Let's just go right into that one. Thank you. 